Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond This Games, and in this Game Maker Studio tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do some smooth rotation, whether that be for the player, an enemy, or something like an NPC turret or something like that. Doesn't matter what it is, if you want it to rotate smoothly instead of just like snapping left or right or up and down, then this is going to be what you're looking for. This is going to work for Game Maker Studio 1 and 2, so let's dive in. The only thing you're going to need is a sprite that is angled to the right. I'm going to be using a sprite from my recent tower defense course, if you're interested in that. Uh, this guy is a fireball wizard tower, and he is angled to the right like they need to be. When you are angling images like bullets or projectiles, if you want to change their image dynamically, they need to be pointed to the right like this so that all of the maths that we do work correctly, because zero is direction to the right with Game Maker Studio, and because of that, it needs to be facing to the right. So that being said, you could make an arrow, you could import this sprite, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Find something, put it in here, aim it to the right. After that, we're just going to make an object with that sprite in there. I'm going to call this obj object. Assign that sprite in there. And then I'm going to open up our room, and before I forget, I'm just going to throw that object in. And that's all we have to do for the room. For the object, all we need to actually do is add a step event. And here, we are just going to smoothly rotate. Now, the way we're actually doing this is directly from the manual. So I'll show this to you, and then I'll explain it to you in case you don't totally understand it. So really what I'm doing is just pointing you to a resource, but hopefully that's okay with you. This is going to be using a function called angle difference. And the example code that they have in here is actually exactly what we want to copy. So I'm going to copy this, paste it in here. Now the naming convention that they have for this I think is a little weird. PD makes sense, but DD doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm going to rename that to AD for angle difference. Because what this is doing is first it's going to get the point direction to the mouse because that's what we're going to be rotating around and point direction works by saying giving it two vectors so the x and y of our object and then the x and y of the mouse so then it knows which direction it should be like where that direction is at <clears throat> the angle difference function returns a number between negative 180 and 180 uh, where positive is anti-clockwise and negative is angle clockwise. And all of that being said, what this is going to do is basically say, which direction do I need to turn? What is the most efficient route to get there? And then we're going to do a little bit of math with uh, choosing the smallest number between the absolute of our angle difference and 10, which we're going to be able to change, and the sign of our angle difference, or multiply by the sign of that. And with that, that's actually all that we have to do. So if we run this right here, we actually have smooth scrolling for our enemy. So it's hard to see because it's already tracking it and it probably looks exactly like if we just did um, image angle equals point direction. But if we take our mouse out and we bring it over here, you can see that it scrolls all the way over. It doesn't snap to that position anymore, which is really cool. It means that it's gonna look way more realistic. So if you had like a security camera or a sentry, this is really good smooth rotation that you can use here. Now to slow it down or speed it up, the number you change is this 10 right here because it is choosing between the lowest number between 10 and the uh, angle difference. So if we put this to two, we can actually look and see that this is going to work and it's always trying to find the best route. So if we move our mouse kind of towards the back, it'll actually change which way it's going because it knows that to get to the mouse, to, to mess up, to, to get to the angle of that mouse, it's actually faster to go the other way when it's rotating around. So that's really cool, that's really smooth, and that's really all there is to it. Uh, this is right directly out of the manual. I'm just pointing you to that angle difference is the function you want here, and the example is is what I copied and pasted into there. But maybe you didn't know that, maybe you didn't see that, because until I really started digging in and trying to come up with something myself, I didn't even know that this function existed, or that they had this example which works so beautifully inside of the manual. So, that's what I've got for you. Thank you very much for joining me, and as always, 
Have fun making great games, and I will talk to you later. Hey there, it's Aaron. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, I encourage you to check out my Patreon. You can join for as little as a dollar a month and get access to our Discord channel and be able to vote on the next series that I tackle. You'll also be able to do one-on-one -on -one training sessions for $10 a month or more if you want more time with me. We can work on whatever it is you're struggling with and I can help you make that awesome game or project. You'll also get access to my courses. Every time I publish a new course on Udemy or Skillshare, every one of my patrons gets that course for free. So even if you support me for just $1 a month, that's a great steal because I'm going to be putting out a lot more courses this year. I want to do YouTube, Udemy, teaching, game development full-time, and you can help make that happen. So thank you very much. I hope you'll check out my Patreon and consider supporting me on there. And check out my courses on Udemy and Skillshare if you're wanting more content from me. Have fun making great games, and I'll talk to you later.